So because I have a lot of stuff to do today, you're gonna see me do some of that stuff. And uh, yes, I'm aware that my office is an absolute travesty when it comes to cleanliness, but that's part of what we're doing today. And this is, uh, <laughs> well, there was a, that used to be a closet back here. This entire thing used to be a closed off closet and why there was a window in the closet, I don't know. But right now it's being held up by like a painting or blocked, I guess, by a painting tarp. And I have two 10 pound plates on top of uh, the shelving, I guess, <laughs> to hold them in place. And they work pretty well. So I'm just gonna keep it there instead of, you know, buying a bunch of stuff. That's just stuff I had laying around. But at the moment, I am going to start setting up a monitor stand for a, a top and bottom dual monitor setup. Because I figured that with a secondary desk setup that I'm getting, that was loud. That was also loud that it's cheaper to do it this way than to buy a new desk, which QA has been like sending me pictures of desks that she thinks would look nice. And some of them are some, well, actually all of them are really nice, but some of the plans that she sends me are like thousands of dollars. And I'm like, it's like, I'll get one from like, there was one for like 70 bucks on Amazon. That was just like essentially an extension here. And, it was a desk by itself, so like whatever. It doesn't need to be the fanciest thing in the world, and it's certainly not the fanciest thing in the world. But like, I don't need to go spend thousands of dollars on a desk that like I don't know. She wants to do like a built-in, and I I don't really like those because like I have these lights for when I'm filming stuff, and I like to have the lights, you know. <laughs> I guess outfitted properly, and if it's built into the wall, I can't really move anything. I don't know. I went to go see the endocrinologist today. I guess, full disclosure, it's the endocrinology NP, but whatever. And she's from not far from where I grew up, so that was kind of nice. But what is, I guess it's like, I guess it technically, bothers me, but I don't really care at the end of the day, is that the lab was closed today. So now I have to go back. And it was by like appointment only, which is something that I'd never really dealt with before. But maybe because it's like an ancillary spot and not associated with the main hospital. So I didn't really get any objective data with regards to how everything's going. But I know from like the, the changes in, I guess my blood sugar, my activity level over the course of the last like eight weeks have has changed a lot. So, and like for the better. So even if there was a slight blip in something, then I, uh, yeah, it's probably fixed by now. Okay, do I need to do this first? What is What goes first? Actually, I'd probably unpack everything. So that's, that's there. Need Phillips head screwdriver. I will be back. Can't even put my microphone on and Bertie already wants it in. Oh, big yawn, big guy. Oh, Millie's here too, okay. Marsha's, uh... Marsha, don't eat the grass. Marsha, don't eat the grass. My cable management right now is a travesty, <laughs> but everything is more or less set up. Um, uh, I'll deal with that travesty later. I am gonna eat turkey until I explode. My mother bought like an 18 pound turkey, I think, for four of us. <laughs> and we ate like, I don't know, a third of it. Maybe. Actually, not even close. We ate a third of it and got rid of, and including in that one third was a bunch of bones. 
there's so much turkey left. And it can be my protein source for the next couple of days. I'll be honest though, better on day two. I'm a little surprised, but definitely better on day two. I'm actually reasonably happy with the effort that I put in in organizing and cleaning my office because for a while there it was it was just gross. <laughs> like not even not even close to being usable. But we'll take it. It's better now. Um, my uh, Google doorbell thing won't charge, so that's a bit of a problem. And I tried to contact Google last week, maybe. Um, but then I forgot that it was what region are you going? Okay. I, I forgot that I was like on on the chat with the person because it like it took so long <laughs> that they're like, "What do you help with?" Crickets. Well, I guess you're not here. Bye. Jeez. Uh, so let's see if this works because it's been a long time <laughs> since I've actually had it work. I wonder if I can just put this thing on the off or on the office on the desk. I'm gonna like not type with this next to you. Okay. I don't know if you can hear panting, but ruin is. Assume the position on his bed. I feel like it's. I don't know, all the dog beds that we've got are, <sighs> like most of the dogs use them. Like the small beds, the big dogs don't really lay on. Although sometimes their like leg or something goes in it. When, <laughs> when it's daytime, Marsha will sit in Millie's bed, but her sitting straight up can kind of fit. And then at like nighttime, Millie sleeps in her own bed upside down, of course, because she's a little bad. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think I'm not disappointed that, I'm trying to think of, like, do I feel upset that I didn't have, like, my labs drawn today? And, well, the answer is no, because it would have taken a long time. I didn't get home until after 11 for a 9.05 appointment. I don't know, I'm, I'm like always curious to see what my cholesterol is doing, what my A1C actually is, because like they, they guess on the apps and they're usually off by like 0.3 or more. Bruin, I'm not giving you any turkey, bud. I'm sorry. <laughs> this person said, thank you for the serial number. How's the weather there? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like, it's great. I got... <laughs> I just want to know why my doorbell won't charge. <laughs> oh, part of the reason I'm a little bit peeved that I didn't have my labs drawn is that like I fasted for them. But I mean, I guess it's nobody's fault. It's just one of those things. I'm already starting to get tired. Like I really haven't slept well the last couple of days. Usually when Kyrie like leaves for the like for her week or whatever on nights my sleep quality kind of suffers. Um, and it's been particularly bad this time. So I'm hoping that I can start putting back a, uh, a routine for bedtime. Problem is like my mind starts really um, kind of kicking off at like 7.30, 8 o'clock. And it's hard to calm down, but just means I need to get back into a proper routine that I have been kind of out of the last couple of days and frankly out of since um, family's been in town but again just excuses I need to need to just do it let's get this thing organized let's get Curie ready and off to work and then see how I feel I feel like I just got well I guess it's hot in here though too yeah Maybe that's why I feel like crap. I guess I don't feel like crap. I'm not sick. I promise. <laughs> I'm just tired. I got some uh, interesting letters in the mail today. The first one from my insurance company. If you remember uh, a while ago, <laughs> the insurance company sent me a letter saying that they weren't going to pay for my medical, uh, my hospital stay, really. And um, after I for lack of a better term, yelled at them. <laughs> they say, and I quote, based on the information submitted, 
we have determined that the treatment is medically necessary. You don't say. Uh, the problem with these insurance companies is that their goal is to not pay and they will, they will do whatever it is they have to to not pay until you actually tell them that, no, no, uh, if you don't, there's a chance you'll go to jail. Because frankly, if they have like, if this is their job, like they have to pay these bills then, and like, why am I paying into health insurance if it's not gonna do what it says it's supposed to do? And so, full disclosure, looks like my hospital stay would have cost $95,236.98. But because I was a pain and frankly did what the hospital was supposed to do and the insurance company was supposed to do, now my payment to do is $250. And you know, like I, I, see, I say this over and over again, if you're not a doctor, like how are you supposed to know this stuff? Like how are you supposed to figure this out? Granted, it was download your PDFs and submit them on a different platform. But still, like, why? Why? Like, why is that a thing even when one, electronic medical records exist, and two, why don't you submit all the information to the insurance company once all the information is available as opposed to the first note when we have no information and then everything else, right? I don't know. It's just... It's weird how that works, but <sighs> the whole thing will end up costing me more than 250 bucks. I have a, a little north of a thousand dollar bill from, actually it's just south of $2,000 from the actual surgeons. Yeah, it's the, surg the surgery and the surgical assist. That's gonna be a little less than $2,000. This is 250 bucks and I think the ambulance rides 93 bucks, so. It could have been a lot worse, but um, you know, I had a I had a an injury, and there was a lot of people and moving parts and skill involved in uh, getting me back together. So um, I don't believe it should be free because I think that's a lot of labor and a lot of education that people just think they deserve and they don't. Um, and the people that want universal health care, like Medicare for all, or the government to do it. And I'm like, you want, you want the least efficient bureaucracy on the entirety of planet Earth to be responsible for your health care? <laughs> uh, to me, it's a special breed of stupid. But everybody has their own opinion. Uh, Lord knows I have mine. Five o'clock, all right, almost time to make Kiri a dinner. But I thought I'd give an update because it's an interesting update. And it's still very hot in here, I don't know why. <sighs> One of these days, I will actually come up with, I don't know, a way to organize my life. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but at the same time, it's like, okay, I got everything in line to be in bed at 10 so I can sleep from, let's say it takes me 15 minutes to fall asleep, 10, 15 to 6.30 ish when usually Marsha wakes me up. But now it's 10 minutes after 10 and I forgot some stuff that I had to do with regards to social media stuff. Um, it's not like, it's not like I'm actually at a deadline, but if I want to start doing stuff, I don't know, better, which I always do, then it shouldn't be uh, negotiable, yeah. So instead I have about, hopefully five minutes of stuff left to do. But every time I think that I have five minutes of stuff left to do, it's usually more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's happened. It happens a lot. Uh, that's not what I want. That's okay. That's that. That part's done. Uh, crap on a stick. Where does this other stuff live? <sighs> I've had like three pounds of turkey today. Okay, maybe not that much, but it's been a lot. 
and we still have so much left. Uh, crap. I forgot where all this stuff is now. No, no, I didn't. I'm just very tired and a little bit cuckoo. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay, good. I will often tell people to not use their phone in bed. Uh, mainly, oh boy, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, that was weird. Um, but I don't <laughs> have a problem with that because once my mind is, has been made up to fall asleep, then I am not long for this world. The last thing that I have to do is something that the dogs enjoy, is to give them treats. Now, a lot of people, not saying who, but they're bad people, really have it under the idea, and I'm in like a power stance so I don't have to move the camera again, are under the impression that Giving your dogs treats, I don't know, is bad. I think they're idiots, frankly. Because, like, treat to some people means different things. Like, I will often throughout the day view an apple as a treat because I've, like, trained my mind to think that way. But also that I know that it's good for me too because there's you know, vitamins and minerals and fiber and all sorts of good stuff in there. So, well, I guess I can show you. So our dogs get like these sweet potato things. 100% all natural, healthy, wholesome, nutritious, sweet potato fries, dog treats. Only one ingredient, which you can probably imagine is sweet potato. And they're all of different sizes. The big dogs get three of them every night. The little dogs get one of them every night because the little dogs are little and the big dogs are far larger than their version of big dogs. So, um, <laughs> we, have, we have an awake brew. <laughs> hey buddy, Bergie, you're still not interested. But they know, they know it comes, they, they know it's coming every night and uh, they get excited. They all have their little places that they go and of course they get up and move around shortly thereafter, but as long as they know to go into their particular place and get their snacks, then we'll be good to go. Okay, in my delirium, let's, uh, let's get the dog some treats, let's get the teeth brushed, face washed, and uh, become one with the ether. Oh, I'm tired. I hope I get a lot of good sleep tonight. Okay. I don't know what today is. Today's Friday. Haircut tomorrow. Can't forget that. Kiri needs more milk, uh, so I get to do that, and the gym, and more of this stuff. And I have a lot of stories to post tomorrow. So if you're watching this and I get this video up in a reasonable amount of time, like it should be up, all those stories, like on my Instagram account right now, and it's very helpful that if you scroll through all of them because it's not so much like just entertainment, but also a little bit of market research for me. So, um, if you are so inclined, I would love it if you could just like poke some buttons. So, um, I, I don't have a reward for anybody <laughs> because I don't have anything to sell and I can't give anything for free. And all the information that's in my mind that goes on my social medias, including this one, it's all going to be for free anyway. And I will never put anything in particular behind a paywall. It's just, what I'm looking to do is take all the stuff that's in my mind that I freely give to people and handhold them through the process. That's kind of the way that I've come to grips with the cringiness of sales is that I will always give out the information for free in a scattered format. And with most social media platforms, you can only do like a minute at a time unless I want to sit here and like map out a big giant book and put on an eight hour course on YouTube. And I'm, 
<laughs> Lazy, I don't want to do that. <laughs> that seems terrible. I guess it's possible, but that's a lot of work. And I would much rather do one-on-one -on -one sorts of things, or even group coaching for that matter, and give a basic framework. But the framework, if you like dig through my socials, it's, it's all there, I just have to organize it. So it's a little bit of market research and a little bit of entertaining and hopefully still a good amount of education. So, okay, that's, uh, oh, it's raining. Great, well, that's enough rambling for me. I am obviously tired and delirious and I'm gonna go to bed.